Oh, Lantana, oh, don't you cry for me. There's so many awesome things about Lantana, but I bet you didn't know that there are species of Lantana that can be invasive. We're gonna talk about the different species of Lantanas, what's so awesome about them, but also which Lantanas you should try to avoid, and of course, why? Lantanas are such colorful plants. They have these little flowers. Pollinators love them. I mean, the bees, the butterflies, all of them love them. There are 15 types of Lantanas and about 150 species. There's a couple of instances that I have ran into uh, someone who really didn't like Lantana and I myself just had to pull out a whole bunch of Lantana and it was hard as heck. So these are called pineapple guavas and then I have some mounding lantanas here. They don't do well together. Um, these are mounding lantanas and they're going to take over. They're already taking over. So the evergreen bushes that you're seeing here are the fejras, which are better known as pineapple guavas. Very cool. I'm going to make a totally different video about that. But the other ones that are browning are the lantanas. They have already been done and spent and this is actually early spring for me. This actually took a lot longer than I thought that it would originally. I mean, I knew they were trailing lantanas, but boy, did they take over. And when you try to take out a plant that is invasive, that just is unruly, that really likes to cling onto the soil, it can really take a long time to get rid of. And it'll, it's right here, like the little clump, and then it has, starts growing a little, shoot I guess you call it and then it lays on the ground and then it starts taking on roots at every point throughout the shoot and then it kind of spreads again to that side and that side and that's how it starts to spread I found it to be very pesky and annoying and I just couldn't stand it. So much so that I ended up burning it. Hey, if you like this video, give me that little thumb. It helps YouTube know that I'm creating content that people like and resonate with. It's relatable and it helps. Why is a plant invasive? Because there are a lot of them and I am going to make a lot of videos about invasives because I want to prevent you from having these issues. One of the reasons that, that a plant is invasive is because it has too much of a perfect condition. If they have too much of a prolonged amazing time, then they just get cozy and comfortable and it's like, oh, this is my house and they want to kick everybody else out. And yes, I do talk about plants like people. <laughs> As I'm creating this video, I decided to geek out. Here's my geeky look. <laughs> I came back in the house and I wanted to do some more research to give you the right information about lantanas. You're going to be surprised to hear this. Let me read some things that I found on the Google's world. Um, you can read from davesgarden.com says in many frost free regions, I'm in one of those, it has become an invasive nuisance, crowding out grazing lands and agricultural areas. Lantana is toxic for most livestock to graze and it is also poison for rabbits and their kin too. Lantana camara or Lantana stigocamara is a category one invasive plant pest, meaning that it's invading native areas, displacing native plants, and hybridizing with related native plants, creating new species. You can actually help to stop this mess. The more educated that you are about invasive plants, the better okay and it, this matters because people think oh you know i can control it blah 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 no the birds take the seeds and germinate elsewhere or your rabbits will start seeing a um, decline right if they're dying and then that everything affects everything our ecosystem is important to take care of and understand and if anything you don't want to be annoyed just the way i had to take my plants out of my house. I mean, like, if anything, can I save you that headache, please? There are lantanas that you can safely grow in your backyard. I have several that are beautiful, that are like 
round, beautiful, bush-like lantanas. They're herbaceous, they're not woody. So pay attention, if a lantana is woody, you need to be a little weary. If it has kind of like a mounding type of um, habit, growth habit, or if it has uh, leggy limbs that could possibly like start crawling out, or if it has like little spikes and it looks like it could be, you know, kind of could hurt you or prick you, or if it's a vine and, it, and you're at the nursery store, at the plant nursery, and you notice that it's already trying to climb onto other plants, that's your red flag. Otherwise, remember there are 15 types and remember there are 150 species. Look at the growth habits, especially if they're herbaceous, if they die down all the way um, when they're perennials and then they come back the next year, those are fine. Those are great to work with. They're beautiful. Your pollinators are going to love them. Also, my neighbor told me that she didn't like uh, her lantana because she had planted it very close to her front entrance. Keep in mind that pollinators love them. If you plant them by your front door, there are baby bees that will come close to it and you might think they're flies and, and annoying, but they possibly could be bees, which is a great thing for our ecosystem, but maybe not so great for your front door area. So just keep that in mind. Try to plant them kind of a little bit further back and some of them don't smell great. And they have their proper space in the landscape. I hope that this video has been helpful, informative, that you've picked up something, that I've saved you a headache in the future, and now you're like, you know what? Even lantanas, as beautiful as they are, can be invasive, and I just want to avoid these ones. Um, there are so many other videos. If you want to watch the one I made about liriope, which is also invasive, and then also soon I'll be making other videos about invasives. But anyway, if you like them, comment, subscribe, do all those things, and know that you can create bliss in your garden.